This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abedur Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? Behind me here you see a Tesla Model 3 long range from 2019. It was actually by the end of June in 2019, so it means that this car is three years old. And you also see the, the registration number here, uh, EV80 something. Um, you know the Model 3 Performance I used to own, MC Hammer? That was also EV80 something. So these two cars are quite similar in age. And then this car has done 165,000 kilometers. So we're gonna do a degradation test today, but we don't have to drive it. I'm gonna just take a shortcut because I have enough data to estimate it uh, somewhat correctly how it is. But, oh, it's raining outside. But let's just show you that this is the old one without heat pump, without octaval, without chrome delete. And also the center console looks like this. Yeah. And then, so the way I do it is that uh, I just connect to the OBD in the back here and then we just read the data and we will uh, see what's going on there. So we just dig right into the old tab. Um, let's see now. Yeah, just scroll through uh, some of the values if you want to see. Not much going on right here. Max discharge power here. Yeah, 386 kilowatt. Uh, yeah, it's a long range but we have only around 44% yeah, battery. So that sounds about right. Um, string, oh, max charge power, okay. Hmm. Okay, this one, this one you wanna see. DC charge total, uh, 11,000 and then AC charge. So you see AC charge is more than twice as much as the DC. So it means that this is more normal uh, behavior that you AC charge mostly at home and then you DC charge on trips. Whereas when I tried MC Hammer, my Model 3 back then, uh, I had more DC charging than AC because I went on long trips and I also did some challenges, tests, and then naturally you will have to a a DC charge a lot. Uh, but here you also see the odometer, 164,000. Uh, yeah, so I rounded up to 165K. So that's a decent amount of uh, distance. And remember that the age, okay, it's only three years old, but uh, when what we've seen on the other cars we tested, uh, degradation tested, uh, age is not that important. It's the number of cycles that matters. Now here, I don't think we get an, any number of cycles. Maybe the car can estimate it, I'm not sure, but at least you see the odometer now. Uh, I think I have a way to calculate it based on my spreadsheet. Uh, just, okay, the way I do it is that I look at what typical range you can get with this car in summer when you're driving slow versus when you're driving fast. And then I also look at the same uh, when uh, in winter, slow and fast. So then I take an average of those four scenarios to, to set some kind of average. I think for this car, I will set it to 400 kilometers. And then the, the, the way I do this is, I look at the anomaly and then just divide it by 400. And then you get roughly cycles, but because you know we can't get the exact cycle anyway, because it, it depends on the if it was a deep cycle or a shallow cycle. So you wanna go deep or you wanna sh go shallow, right? And uh, if I ask you, you might not want to tell me. Uh, so that's the way it is. But okay, anyway, um, here, 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 okay. The, the juicy stuff, nominal full pack here is 70.8 kilowatt hour. Um, but that is if you charge the car to 100% and then discharge it to complete zero until it stops below below zero even. Uh, and then the, the, the energy buffer here is the 3.2 kilowatt I hear is that if you charge it to 100% and then you go to zero, percent then the 3.2 kilowatt hour is a buffer below zero percent and i never count that because i never count that in other cars either and many cars they will stop at zero percent uh, or close anyway so uh, that means that if you take 70.8 kilowatt hour minus 3.2 wait what the heck happened there okay we're back uh, i had to unhook and then plug it in again uh, but okay so um, 70.8 minus 3.2, that means 77.6 uh, kilowatt hour. But this is the nominal capacity, what the car think it can do. And what I've seen over and over again when I actually do the test is that because of some discharge loss, you know, when you discharge a battery, there's a little bit of heat uh, coming out, uh, but then it depends on how much power or how much current you pull out from it. But when I do range tests, I will try to drive at 90 kilometers per hour, and uh, I, I try to, you know, I will not floor it or do anything crazy like that so that uh, we don't have crazy amount of losses. Uh, and then, short story is that 
I usually deduct roughly 0.5 kilowatt hour from this one and that's usually what we get so that means that we will get roughly 77 no no sorry sorry 67 kilowatt hours 67.1 I'm not sure which one I will set in the spreadsheet um, let's say just 67 kilowatt hour and then um, then uh, yeah and then how much was it when it was new well this one claims 77.8 kilowatt hour minus uh, 3.2 uh, if that's the same buffer uh, that's uh, 74.5 but you see that's the problem because uh, I actually didn't get 74.5 I think I got it in some cars in US but uh, for some reason when I measured MC Hammer my model 3 it was 73 so that's what I wrote in a spreadsheet 73 so I think 73 kilowatt hour is what you can expect also from this one and that means that this battery has also 8% degradation just like my model 3 I used to own uh, but the difference is that this car has over 160k and then the other car had only 80k and it was you know, okay two years old but why was it uh, like that you know this you would expect that this car would have four percent or at least three percent degradation no, sorry um uh, 16 percent degradation right because you have done twice as much no 16 percent degradation would be quite massive but let's say you know it tends to it tends to go fast in the beginning and then flattens out well let's say why didn't this car at least have 12 percent degradation then well i think it boils down to this dc far a charge total because uh, the way they charge it probably they just go on a trip and then they they supercharge and then they move to the next one right but for me i supercharge a lot more and i also did some high speed runs on the german autobahn but when i supercharge to 90 percent and past 90 percent the temperature goes up and it stays high and then i hammer it so that, that, that's the i think that's the takeaway here is that the, the temperature uh on my battery was higher for a longer time and i i punished the battery more with dc fast charging i hit 200 kilowatt many times i didn't actually hit 250 too many times because it was uh, back in the day, days when the, the v3s weren't that common but at least 150 200 kilowatt was common when i did those tests and that is likely the cause that or the problem or the reason why uh, MC Hammer had more degradation, I think, because I, you guys remember when I saw on the temperatures, the, the, when we fast charged, the the battery was hovering around uh, around 55, 60 degrees Celsius, you know. But when you when you AC charge, it's just resting around 20 degrees Celsius. So yes, um, I think that is. I'm gonna scroll down just to show you guys uh, maybe some more data if you want to see them but um i think this is good enough i, I could spend four hours or five hours charging the car 100 percent and discharging it and i would get most likely almost the same result eight percent degradation so again yes we only have one observation here versus one observation with my own with mc hammer and how realistic is it then or how how much can we trust just one one versus one observation well we can't uh but at least it's it's quite clear now that this car has roughly the same degradation as the other car right so uh, if we keep testing uh we could probably also find the same results so i don't know what you guys think um i i, I would actually blame fast charging i mean we talk about this many many times before that then like if you go to battery university you will see information that tells you that they have done some research you know someone out there with the right equipment and the right knowledge they have they keep telling us that a uh, high temperature in the battery kills the battery faster and also i guess high c rating high charge rating or high discharge rating will kill the battery and this these two tests we have now here uh, kind of conform uh, uh, corresponds with what we have read other places right so anyway i think i'm not gonna talk more about this um i would just put this in the in the video uh i mean in the in the spreadsheet i'm just just gonna scroll through and see if there's anything interesting here uh probably not oh, this is a lot of cell voltage. okay that's it yeah so now you guys have seen it huh what do you guys think huh eight percent degradation after 160k that's actually more like it um yeah and then so 
uh, based on this, what you should do is avoid too much DC fast. Okay, I think one thing you can do is that if you if you go on a road trip and you kind of need to fast charge, right? What you should do is only fast charge, supercharge or fast charge to around 70-80% and then you disconnect and then you let the battery cool down and then you go to the next charger and then you charge to 60-70-80% again. Because I think what also uh, is kind of bad in my case what that was that I supercharged MC Hammer many many times beyond 90% um, and that's bad because it's a product or, or you know the degradation or the, the thing that kills the battery is high temperature but not high temperature alone high temperature in combination of high stellar charge and also in combination of how long you stay there those three things combined together will make it worse so which means that if you uh, for example high stellar charge alone is not going to kill it let's say you AC charge it to 100% uh, and then you drive off not too long then it's not that bad or if you have hot battery but you're staying at 50 degrees 50 percent only then that's not too bad but high temperature like 55 60 degrees celsius 95 percent state of charge and high c rating something like that uh, or, or you stay there you know a while half an hour like i tend to do then that's bad I think that's it. I mean, does it make any sense? I mean, I, I don't know for sure, but this is quite a strong indication, right? So anyway, yes, now you guys have seen it. Huh? What do you guys think? Huh? Uh, do, does this make any sense or am I just a uh, pop art <laughs> Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.